Hello and welcome to Ben's Ramblings. I've got a quick one for you today. I'm not even going to show you the cook, but I am going to show you how to take apart a lobster. I know Hussey just did a video cooking the lobster on his griddle. Did a great job for a guy down south. This is how we do lobsters up north. I steamed the lobster, went in the pot, eight minutes a pound. This is a three and a quarter pounder. In the pot, I put a bunch of sea salt, bay leaves, thyme, an onion cut up into a few pieces, and a few peppercorns. Here's our lobster. Let's get to taking it apart. First few things to do, rip the tail right off. The legs, claws come off. The tail, you rip these fins off at the end. And then, this is steaming hot. I'm going to use a fork or a spoon. Once that's out, you can take your finger and the meat pushes right out. So there's the meat for that. The claws, you can break either with a knife or a nutcracker. This one's a tough one. I'm going to get the knife. Broke that claw. You have most of your claw meat here. You take this lower piece of the claw, pull it, that comes right out, and the claw meat comes right out. You have to make sure that these pieces come out with them, otherwise it will be in the meat. Then for the smaller pieces of claw, again, you just break it apart. Sometimes they're a little spiny, you might need to use a towel. Break it apart like that and you'll see the meat's going to come right out. If it's stuck in, just go in one side and push it out either with your finger or a tool, something like this. You can use this end to push or the fork. Same with these smaller pieces. Break them apart. Meat comes right out. That's already out. This is a good sized lobster. You can take these small pieces. They all have meat in them. The easiest thing to do with these is actually roll a rolling pin over them and the meat will come out. I don't normally bother with them. This size, I might take them and just suck the meat out almost like you would do with a crawdad. Um, but it's up to you. Some people eat some of the inside. This green is called the tamale, I want to say. Um, I don't care for it. There is meat in here, though. If you want to go crazy, you can eat the whole thing. The main thing to me is the, the tail and the larger claws. Um, there may be a vein similar to a shrimp here um, that is there. Uh, what do you want to call it? Their, their uh, elimination tube, where they eliminate waste, their waste tube. Um, but that's basically it. Do the same thing with the other claw. Pull the meat out. This one is a little tougher. Again, the back of a spoon or that little tool I showed before. If you're really having problems, you can get something like these shears. And they're great because they cut right through the, the claw meat, or right through the uh, shell, I should say. So, for example, on this one, let's say I couldn't get this claw off. A couple cuts with these. They open right up. And there's your meat. All intact. Again, same thing here.
pull this lower claw off. Again, these are sharp sometimes, just be careful. And the meat comes right out. So that's how you take a lobster apart. We're gonna serve this on clar with clarified butter. You could put it with a red sauce, serve it with pasta, however you like. Um, we're doing clarified butter tonight. I hope everybody has a happy new year. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, don't forget, subscribe and ring that bell. Ding, ding. See you next time. <laughs>